Hmm, what is our project today? Here I'm out on the same driveway. I already made some repairs along the brick on this side. We're all wavy up and down and, and had some ants down in here. They had made trails and took some of the sand out and some of these bricks along the edge were kind of going down. It even kind of came out this far in certain areas, three different areas as a matter of fact. If you've seen those videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. And all of this was low. I went ahead and fixed all that too. And that's not part of this video, but you know, I was starting to think about it. And look at this. Here's a brick right in the middle. You see that white thing? What is that? Have you ever seen that before? It looks like a piece of wood that somehow when they made these bricks, it was caught in the tray or something. And they didn't throw that out after they made it. They should have. And then the installer, how could he have missed that? He probably saw that and thought, I've never seen that before. And thought it'd be a joke 19 years ago when they installed this whole driveway area. He put it right there. Why did he even put it at all? You know, and so now I want to get, take that out. And I haven't tried to do that yet. And I don't have any bricks um, to match this. What I could do is take a picture of this. I could take a brick out along the side, take it to the store. But you know, the color might not be the exact same. It might look like a brand new brick. If, that's, if that was the case, or if this was cracked or something, I could take it out and then maybe take an older brick, you know, off to the side somewhere and then put it over here, put the new brick over in the corner or something. But that's, that's what I had, had my mind thought of now is not to mess with that at all. Just take this brick out and replace it with one of these other bricks. Which brick would I replace it with to where it wouldn't be noticeable? Yes, right underneath that bush. You see that? And these these are full size bricks. And I thought I could I could maybe do it with one of these bricks right here. And there's that metal trim. See that? And there's a gap right there. So I know. And there's a slight. See that gap there between the brick and that trim? Uh, there's probably a quarter inch gap there. So I can kind of dig that out a little bit and then when I pry this I should be able to get it out okay. Right? And I think what I'll do, see this one's got a mark on it. I think I'll take this one right here and I'll put it out there in the middle. Now these are a little bit darker but that's because they probably are just dirty. And I could put that one I could put that one out there. So if you want to watch that, that's what this video is all about. And I'm not even sure if I can get these bricks out. Stick around and find out. Okay, I have not tried this out before. And I know these bricks have little ridges in them. Every once in a while, there's a little ridge in there that pooches out. See that little thing right there? There's another one right there. That tells me there's a slight gap between here and that gap, see you can still put these tight and it looks like there's a gap, see? That gap is so that when you get all done you can put sand in between there. Well that's what they did years ago. And so now it's my chance of trying my best. Let's get you situated here. I'll try my best to get that out of there. Got a, I got a stiff, a stiff putty knife, and I've got one that's more flexible. See how flexible that is? Look at that. This one not so much. I like this stiff one, but the flexible ones come in handy every once in a while. And I've got a, just a crummy throwaway screwdriver that's gotten bad, and I just use that to bang on and and to use as a pry bar. And that kind of stuff. That's that's what I'm gonna 
try to use here to get this. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping against all hope I can get it. I'm only, I'm only grabbing it by a little, by a little bit, and I'm hoping not to make a big old mess out of this. sliding back down and it might be wedging on the sides here too there oh, good lord another little crummy screwdriver right there to try to keep it from slipping back down Impossible, huh? Almost. I say almost impossible. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> That's flexible. Putty knife's really not working very, very good at all. See, it could be hitting on the edges too. Baby. First I was thinking, do I really want to do this on video in case I can't get it out? Or if it's going to be too hard? And I thought, well, hey, why not make a video of it so that other people can see that it's not that easy to do this. And to see if it's actually even possible. Whew. Look at that. I'm getting it. Maybe I should try from the sides, huh? Got a, I've got another screwdriver here. That keeps it from going back down. I was like he man I could just grab this and pull it right out with my fingers but I'm not I don't really want to use this screwdriver to pry on because it's one of my good screwdrivers and I got a little bit more I want baby 
Now I got this high, maybe I can, maybe I can get it. Look at that. Look at that, will ya? Whew. I see all this sand that was in between has now gone down to the bottom. And I'm gonna have to clean some of that back out. Because if I don't, I might not be able to get the brick in there flat. It might stick up too far. So, and then again, I don't want to take too much out in case I do tap it down there and it goes down too low. You know what I mean? This stuff, if I have a little bit of sand in here, that's okay. I can tap it. I can tap it down. Okay. I think, I think that's going to be okay. There. All right. Look at that. I got it. Took me a little effort. I got her. So can you. All right. Now, time to get the other one out from underneath that bush. You see these ridges I was talking about? See? There's a couple there. And there's one, two on that side, one on the end there, one on the end over there. So that tells you, that gives you plenty it should give you plenty of room to wedge it out of there just like I did with a stiff putty knife. I use this stiff putty knife and my crummy screwdriver. You can use two screwdrivers if you wanted, but the thin putty knives just don't really cut it to be able to pry up on it. Okay, so much for that one. Now let's get that one over there. 